Let's stop holding back on this and let's get carried away. Stop making a big deal out of the little things. Cause I got big deals and I got little things. Got everything. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. We are doing Vlogtober this month. So today is Sunday. It's Vlogtober day 10, I want to say. And I'm just sitting here about to drink some chai. Johnny did a Starbucks run and he got me a chai. He actually got a tall chai with vanilla cream cold foam. So I asked for vanilla, but I think they misinterpreted what I asked for it, but anyways, so I've actually never had this before, so let's see what it tastes like. It's really good. It's definitely sweet. It's pretty good. I typically get the chai with vanilla in it, but I guess they did the vanilla foam. It looks so pretty outside today, but it's definitely not as pretty as it looks <laughs> temperature wise. So I'm gonna read some Bible this morning. This is the one that I'm using right now, the NIV. Um, I got this at Barnes & Noble, but I just thought it was really nice. It had a really pretty inside and then it had space to write, so that's why I got it. But I am looking for another one, which is crazy, but <laughs> let's ignore that. I'm looking for another one for a different reason, but um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna just read, I like to read Proverbs and then I also like to read um and then i've been reading the new testament john so i'm gonna read a proverb and then i'm gonna go into john and continue where i left off so that's what i'm gonna do for the next i don't know 30 minutes and um i'll chat with you guys a little bit later i'm gonna have this chicken tikka masala for lunch from trader joe's and this is really good it's one of my favorite um trader joe's meals this is one of my favorite like package meals it's really really good hey guys it's 1 30 and i'm currently trying to edit um i'm currently editing last week's um, you last i'm currently editing yesterday's vlog sober video so i'm about halfway done with it um, i'm 10 minutes in and i like to make them like 20 minutes ish just because it's daily uploading so i'm about halfway done editing but yeah i'm definitely like struggling to get through <laughs> so i'm gonna make myself some coffee just because i think the chai did not have did not have enough caffeine to um keep me awake so yeah we're gonna make some coffee i already brewed it but i'm gonna just go add some creamer and sip on that hopefully get some more energy so i can finish editing this video and get it up for you guys today so yeah and earlier i was reading the bible verse so um out of the proverbs i read john and i read john and then i read um proverbs 3 and um, one of the verses i forget which part of proverbs 3 it's to basically um not lean on your own understanding but to basically put your um basically leave it with God and not lean on your own understanding and I I know that verse I've heard it before but it's just like a good reminder to just never lean on your own understanding because you just we just don't know you know we're not we're, we're human and a lot of things are just so far beyond what we can comprehend and what we can understand and um, a, a lot of times when we think that we know and like we get it we really don't and God is just capable of so much that we could never possibly imagine. So I just thought that was a good reminder. And that verse um, 3, um, the chapter 3, talks about a lot of like good stuff. So yeah, that was a good opening for my day. But anyways, let's go finish the coffee. Ooh, I just cracked my elbow. <laughs> um, let's go finish the coffee and uh, we can hopefully get some energy okay. by the way these are blue light glasses so i did brew this as hot coffee but it's been sitting so now it's warm and i'm trying to decide if i want to make it iced or just i'll do i don't know what i want why am i yawning oh my god excuse me sorry <laughs> i'm gonna get the creamer I just don't know what I want. I'm using this one, the Chobani creamer. I haven't tried it yet, but 
I heard it was really good, so we're gonna try it. Um, I still don't know if I want ice or regular coffee, you guys. Maybe. Okay, so we're doing, I'm gonna do iced coffee. I decided I just want something cold. By the way, my ice cube maker, my circle ice cube maker is on sale on Amazon. I'll have it links below. Actually, I'll have my store link below and I have a selection of my store that's just for the current. So Amazon Prime is having a sale again. So Amazon is having another Prime sale. So these are on sale right now. So I'll have my store linked so you guys can check it out. I have a section that is just for the Prime sale and everything in there is on sale right now. So yeah i'll have that link below because i love these i think they're so cute and they definitely make they definitely make drinking beverages way more fun <laughs> so um, yeah okay so we'll do so some coffee okay coffee and then we're gonna try this chobani sweet cream creamer how many calories is this? Oh my gosh. I've been kind of, oh my gosh, this is like so empty. Not empty, but there's such a big gap, but this was sealed. I felt the seal break, but like, I don't know if you guys can see, but look how much space is in here. That's crazy, right? I don't know. It's like a it's like a bag of Doritos when <laughs> it's half full. Okay. So I've been kind of horrible with my diet the past couple weeks. So we need to get back on track. Um Honestly, I don't even know why I fell off. <laughs> But girl, I fell off, okay? I fell all the way off, so I need to get back, but we're gonna enjoy this coffee. <laughs> Yummy! I, I'm talking about it. Okay, so I'm gonna sit, I guess I'm gonna sit on the floor because I never wanna drink this stuff on my chair and get it messed up. So I'm gonna sit on the floor to enjoy this coffee. Okay, so this is my storefront, you guys. I worked on it a couple months ago to make it look really pretty, the uh, cover. But um, in terms of what's in here, I have different sections. I have my three most popular sections pinned, so my YouTube equipment, kitchen, and self-care. Um, a lot of you guys always ask about products from this section, so I have those pinned. And then I added this new section, which is basically this one right here. It's called Prime Sale October 2022. And in this section, I have all the things that are in the sale. So um, it's this section right here. So these are all the items that I found that are included in the sale. But yeah, these are all really, really good deals. And um, I was excited to find all of these. I was searching through thousands of products to find some good deals. And y'all, I really want this machine right here. I just cannot convince myself. And Johnny's gonna like... <laughs> Johnny would be like, what the heck if I get this? It's a coffee machine. It's the Barista Touch Espresso machine. But it's $900. Yikes. Yeah, yikes. Big yikes. And, um, yeah, it's he's not going to want to use that. Like, that's so complicated. And also, it's expensive. And also, uh, it's unnecessary. But it's, it's my dream. I actually saw this little machine in McKenna mckenna walker's vlog for she was blowing up balloons for one of her kids um whenever we have a birthday party we have to blow up all these balloons or we have to like try to find a place that's open to blow up the balloons the day before the party or the the day of the party depending and it's always like a struggle so i definitely want to get one of those and these are on sale and this is on sale so i think i'm gonna get this um 
But yeah, just some good stuff, y'all. Of course, my ice maker. And these are some more things that I found. As I scroll through, I'm going to keep adding things as I find new things to here. So definitely keep checking the sale. I believe it's from the 11th. Some of these items are already marked down. So you can shop already. I'll leave the link down below for you guys. Hey guys, so it's a little later and I'm going to make dinner. So I'm, I'm going to make making my version of this um, Dominican stew chicken. So I don't have all the ingredients. That's why I'm saying my version. I don't have sofrito. I don't have sofrito and I don't have um, something else. But I'm just basically using it as a guide to make my own version. It's going to be like a taco chicken version of the recipe because I use this taco seasoning. This seasoning has a lot of similar flavor, um, a lot of similar ingredients as the other ones. I also did some um, all-purpose seasoning. I also added some all-purpose seasoning. I added some black pepper and the seasoning has a lot of salt already the taco seasoning so you don't really need to add any extra salt if you do not want to i also have some brown sugar that i'm gonna use i have some tomato sauce well i have tomato paste wait where is it right here tomato paste which you can use either or and then i also have this tomato paste here this one is from trader joe's and then um, I have cilantro in the fridge, but the cilantro is for after. And then for the um, bell peppers, I have these. But this this is frozen, but I figure I can still use it. Hopefully, it stays the same. So um, I'm gonna. So I just seasoned the chicken. All right. So I'm gonna use my caraway skillet pan. Don't so not don't mind my dead flowers, y'all. They are. <laughs> <laughs> they are dead. They are completely dead at this point. Well, the roses and like this section. Anyway, so we're gonna do two tablespoons of oh, two tablespoons of olive oil. You can use vegetable oil as well. I will have this recipe down below. Um, like I said, I'm not following it completely, but I'll still have a link below so you guys can check it out. oil. I'm going to do the rice in the instant pot. I'm using this rice. Um, I just added in the peppers. I actually skipped on the water for now because the peppers were frozen. Since the peppers were frozen, I skipped on the water for now. If I need more water, then I will add more. But I skipped on the water just because the peppers were frozen. And it had its own liquid. So that's what it looks like. The rice is doing its own thing over here, which is great. I'm going to add in the tomato paste. Upstairs. 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 
What the heck happened to our water? Good morning, today is um, Monday. I'm doing my hair. I'm gonna use this Live and Proof product in my hair. This is my first time using it. I got it in the mail maybe like a few weeks ago. It's supposed to help, help with your hair strength. So I just shampooed my hair and I realized I had no conditioner while I was in the shower. I realized my conditioner was finished and um, I actually, I did use Johnny's which he has one from Shea Moisture and it's just not what I like, but I had no choice. I had no choice. So that was a bummer. And I'm gonna blow dry my hair. I'm gonna use my Dyson to blow dry my hair. Oh my gosh, I hate when it does that. I'm gonna use my Revlon. I'm gonna use this Revlon one, which I like it, but I prefer the Dyson because it gives me a better blowout. Every, every so often the Dyson just goes off. I don't know why it does it. By the way, I do use this product, but you don't have to use this with every wash. You could use it with every other wash. So I didn't use it today, but I used it the last time I washed my hair, which was like last week. So that's why I'm not using it, but I love this stuff. It's really, really good. This is it here. I think my lens was a little dusty. So I just dried my hair and a lot of the my roots are still not completely dry which is why I like to use a Dyson because I feel like it really gets the roots dry more than this um, dryer does. The, the ends of my hair is obviously dry but the roots some of it is like still damp. Whenever my Dyson is on its cycle it does not want to work. It's like it takes a day off. I do light makeup today. We I think we're gonna go apple picking. I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use this curling iron to just add some curls to my hair. I'm going full glam today. Don't ask why. I just um, I don't know. I'm just kind of in the mood to do like a full on glam look today. So I'm going to do part of my hair first and then we'll get into makeup. I did my brows already because that doesn't really matter. Um, but I don't want to do anything that's going to basically sweat off my face. So I'm just trying to get ready real quick. Um, I tried to do my hair, but because the roots are not, because the roots of my hair are not um, straight because of the silly hair, because my Dyson is acting ridiculous today. The curls are not giving what I want them to give, but it's okay. It's so annoying. I hate when the Dyson does that. I wonder if I, I mean, I feel like it's too late for warranty because I've had this Dyson's for like, I've had, the, I've had this blow dryer for years, like probably like, I don't know, five years. Um, and then I'm going to take this concealer and just go in these areas around.
this vlog is probably gonna go up later than I wanted to but it's okay it's still gonna go up today uh, just gonna be a little bit later Oh, you? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The special? Yeah. <laughs> Four. I mean, the, the beginning of the week. It's a good week to start because I think we only have uh, four days. So get four outfits together. That way I can sleep better or in. Hey y'all, so I just got ready. Um, today is Monday, which I already told you guys. I don't know if I told you all, but today's Monday. I just threw on this Heat lip gloss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing this long sleeve top from Skims, and then I'm wearing some jeans from American Eagle, the mom jeans. Mom so. jeans. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're gonna head out, and I'll take you guys with us. We are heading up to the Fishgill Farms in uh, uh, Hopewell Junction, which is like about nah, a new, it's over an hour it's like an hour ish away so that's where we're gonna put apple bacon we've never been there before we've been to quite a few other farms but this is the first time going to this one and it looks really nice so yeah 